And ladies and gentlemen, game number one of Arona versus AAO. This is a possibly deciding. If AAO wins both games, they are through to tomorrow. If Arona wins at least one, AAO relies on the mercy of others. If Arona wins two, AAO is eliminated. Arona is running Yu Ying, Led Shima, Marseille, Led Moskva, Napoli, San Martin, and Devastation. AAO is running Daring, Yamagiri, Marseille, Napoli, Ledge Des Moines, Ledge Moskva, and Kremlin. So, a couple of different interesting things. We're seeing that Devastation play. Devastation is a strong choice. San Martin, if it doesn't get immediately blapped, can be troublesome. Kremlin is very tanky, but he's going to struggle with the Devastation. And then... Uh, Yamagiri as the one is a nice call, though the Shima is going to be able to bounce fairly well there. Daring versus Yu Yang, Napoli's, Marseille's, Moskva's. There is a fairly e even amount of radar. Remember, Kremlin has limited DCP, so those fires can be really dangerous if the devastation can force him into taking multiple fires. So, you see the early cap there by B as we continue to just sit here and watch from AAO. I mean, you'll see the cap connection by Arona back. Moskva set up already on his island, daring Yu Yang watching, and we're seeing the push from AAO out wide. Um, so we're seeing a split push. We're going to see smaller defense here at B for the side of AAO versus a heavy push, and smaller defense at C for Arona versus a heavy push. The challenge comes in on Yamagiri Torp Dumpings versus Shima Torp Dumpings. Their Shima's running 12, the Yam is also running 12s. Um, so it becomes a how much can they do? And so as we watch this, you're going to see the Yamagiri and Shima run into each other. Remember, this is a spot where the Yamagiri does have an advantage in terms of health. But the Goo 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 Mlar, being closer than Hitmark, may counter that. Really interesting how slow these teams are going on the setup. Moskva spotted just long enough for shots to come in. Does take a chunk. He will catch Ezgara with that radar just by the skin of his teeth. But he's spotted because he shoots. Devastation gonna get nice shots on the Moscow. Watch for the Kremlin having shots here in a split second. Here come the slap. Oh, 8k and he's already down 17k. Has to DCP. Trying to go dark. He's gotta be careful because he will probably be detected for at least one more salvo out from the Devastation. AP loaded from the Kremlin comes in. Down 18k on Tiny Trouble. Tiny Trouble does have a heal left though. Remember. Devastation not shooting again, but that's the goal. Shima and Yama... Shima spotted of Enterprise Saiku. He's taking a lot of Yamagiri damage. And yeah. Ooh, whiff on those shots. Now, admittedly, he's taking damage back, but remember, this is one of those where. It's about how much health you have over. And so, even though it's an equal trade, this feels a lot worse for the Shimakaze of Enterprise Saku because of the fact that he is down to two-thirds health, whereas the Yamagiri is still closer to, is still a bit above two-thirds health. Looks like Marseille will dodge the Torps. Meanwhile, back in over here on this look, Moskva still doesn't use the heal. He's got, he's 14k lower than Ezgara, but that means that Trouble and Ezgara are basically the same after heals. The disadvantage for Tiny Trouble 
is that even though he has more heals, he hasn't used it yet, and the next heal's about to be up, so he's they're going to be on the same heal timing. And so that is a slight disadvantage. Yu Yang is in trouble, though. AAO finds Vasca, 3-5-8. Oh, and uh, they find ADFXF. He's already down to 4,000. Oh, he is gone, ladies and gentlemen. He's trying to get dark, but that radar just has too much time, and he is going to be melted. 8,000, 500, sorry, 200. 64, and there it is, ladies and gentlemen. First blood and early advantage to the side of AO. They're also taking C-cap, which means Arona is now in big, big danger. And so the Moskva of Verona trying to do work. He's taking chunks there from the Kremlin. And if he moves up too far, Ezgra will have the broadside on him. Now, you do have the San Martin out here on the flank along with the Devastation. Devastation can do a lot of work. But this push over here has to get moving for Verona. They need to get up. They need to use this flank and just force the enemy off the flank. But it may honestly be too late. Like, I, like Tiny Trouble already down to 17k. And getting farmed out. He doesn't have DCP. He doesn't have heal. He's got to survive another 30 seconds to DCP and another uh, 20 seconds to heal. Or 50 seconds to heal. I don't think he's going to live through this one. Even if they don't set another fire, I think it's just too much. And there's the shot. That'll do it, ladies and gentlemen. Ezra comes around. And that is a second ship kill for the side of AAO. They are up 260 points and looking to close this out. And so, I mean, at this point, for AO, they get the Shima on the other fight. I was about to go over there and look. Yama wins. He doesn't uh, die. And there's a Torp on the Napoli. Napoli's going to look and turn. Looks like he's going to get that dodge line. But I'm going to say it doesn't matter. That's three ships. Even with the Yamagiri low, um, it, it's really just so much has been already whittled off. Devastation can heal, but he's taking damage. And it's the fact that it's a 400 point lead in two and a half minutes until game. And even if you get into B cap here with the Napoli, which the Napoli is looking to do, the, the problem is you're running out of time. Like every second you're not in there is worth two seconds once you get into the cap. Because right now, he's about to go in, but instead of it being five minutes, because it took an extra 30 seconds, it's only four minutes. Devastation uses the heal, but he's on fire. I mean, this is what I talked about. Devastation's good in that sense, though. He can absolutely burn stuff down. I mean, Kremlin's already down to two DCPs. That is the danger here. Napoli being forced away between the Marseille and the Napoli of Goo Goo Goo. But Napoli of Goo 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 is getting daring. That'll buy some time for them. And it won't be enough even at this point to switch it over. They need kills, Arona does. And I don't know if they're going to find these kills, ladies and gentlemen. And so the inability to finish that cap is just absolutely hurting them. Um, I mean, look at the devastation. You know, he's going to immediately pop the heal here. 22,000, he's just going to print a ship again. Um, Moskva may be getting the damage, uh, most damage against a battleship or a single ship this game. It's like we said, you know, there's the Napoli.
And so Napoli comes out. Will they get a hit on him? They haven't yet. Do they get it right there? They get it just in time. Goo 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 is going to go down. Ladies and gentlemen, this game is all, all AAO. And there's the kill, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, this game is all AAO. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. AAO completes just an absolute stomping in game one. They will take the first game. They are one game away from guaranteeing themselves a place in tomorrow's matches. I have not seen that... Uh, I have not seen their logo before. Okay, that's pretty good. I'll give you that one, guys.